hi guys welcome back to my channel so your girl is on her way to drc congo for the very first time in my entire life oh my goodness and i'm super excited and of course you know what i'll tag you i'll bring you along and show you everything in congo Now, if you know your geography, you will realize that Congo is really bare because they have a lot of land. It's one of the largest country, if not the largest in Africa. to have a little bite and of course it's going to be something light because it was a very early morning flight and definitely give you very light food we have some butter some scones and some poached eggs and i think that was uh, sweet potato then you can get either black tea black coffee whatever you want though they give you some crema if you want some white you can always just do to your perfection sugar and all the utensils that you can want to use well my table got busy with time <laughs> So at this point you are about to land and you could clearly see a lot of streams or rivers because one of the largest river is river congo and of course there are so many branches from it so there are so many streams in congo and of course vast lands that look bare because i said congo is one of the largest countries in africa so obviously they've not populated all the land and it kind of looks so green so fertile so beautiful so yeah africa is really beautiful touch the ground and just on the runway ready to alight at any point from now now immediately you land in drc what will hit you hard is the weather there's a sharp contrast of course when you're in that plane uh, all the SEs and all that but if you're coming from some cool place like Nairobi, you'll realize how hot it is. Well, if you're coming from somewhere like Mombasa or any other hot region, you'll be fine. Now, what you see on documentaries, I will say is exaggerated truth, simply because I feel the exaggerating on the weak areas of DRC as opposed to just showing the whole picture well you might have seriously low or maybe uh, dirty areas and bad cars uh, you know but trust me they're very posh areas in DRC and if you get to travel you see now the sharp contrasts just like this area was really posh, really fancy, really cool, security is good. I mean, it's, yeah, I, I understand there's a contrast between where you, especially from Kinshasa where you land, and if you go now to the major cities, uh, area like Goma, you know, you can find some very nice living standards. I, yeah. Otherwise, uh, you get some goodies, some nice invites. You know, Congo has a lot of French culture. And of course, wine is quite big, chocolate, and their welcome is really good. Also, their fashion, their fashion tests. You know, I mean, Congo is just very into French culture. Of course, they also speak French. They are... Um, use left hand in terms of driving the cars, uh, pots, uh, the charging pots or all electric pots are like French um, 
type. So there's a lot of um, differences if you come from the East, where we use a lot of British equipment, British pots, and all that. So otherwise, this place was really cute, very fancy, as you could be in Kenya, Nairobi, or any other place in Africa. So yeah. I'll definitely show you around later on because it was a little bit late or rather I'll say I was just tired and I just wanted to freshen up and enjoy my stay. So yeah, I am in Congo and I'm super excited to show you around, show you the rivers if I travel to Brazzaville because the river is... Um, the difference between Congo DRC and Brazzaville. So if I travel there, then I'll let you know. Uh, otherwise, thank you for staying with me and traveling with me to DRC. I hope you're safe. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>